morning guys it's only 2 48 in the morning saturday morning the 12th of september and i'm getting ready to go to upstate new york to pick up my wife she's been up there uh, for two months for the last two four months uh, watching the uh, grandchildren during the summer and i i couldn't sleep uh, last night so i slept maybe three or four hours and i'm just getting up having my coffee, uh, some uh, breakfast, and here in about 30 minutes or so, I'm gonna head up to New York. Now, I had a little problem uh, yesterday with my uh, car. Um, I have a, an older 2006 Acura RL, and the thing was leaking uh, water, and thank God I noticed it yesterday. So it turns out that, there, you know, I noticed this leak under the car late yesterday afternoon, and uh, I popped up the hood and I noticed that the coolant reservoir was leaking uh, water. So I opened it up after it cooled down and I noticed oil in there, but not, not car oil, but uh, transmission fluid. Uh, it looks very deep reddish and that's something that I, can, I can't fix. And I do have a second car and that's what I'm gonna use. Now the second car, it's an older 2003 Jetta, Volkswagen Jetta. I mean, it's in pretty good condition with only about 56,000 miles, but I haven't used it in three years. It's been sitting on my driveway for three, four years. It, it is registered, it has, uh, uh, it has insurance. And today, uh, I'm gonna use it for the first time in three years. So I think it's gonna, drive me up there, take me all the way up there to uh, upstate New York. It's only about four, four, 15, four, four hours and 15 minute drive. So I'm gonna leave here around, well, maybe around 3.30 in the morning and uh, I should be up there sometime before nine, hopefully. So yeah, it's, um, I look forward to this adventure, but it's a, I'm grateful, I'm, I'm glad that I discovered uh, the problem with my current car because had I driven it up to New York, I would have been stuck up there I definitely would have been stuck up there with that car and Probably major engine problems because when the oil mixes in with the coolant Obviously it, there, there's a point where the car is going to definitely overheat and destroy that engine So I'm glad that I noticed it now and um, Yeah, so I'm a little tired but um, I've been through this before, so I'm just gonna get ready here now. And I'm gonna take you guys along. Okay, so I'm gonna go get the car. It's actually parked on the street. And I'm gonna bring it up to my driveway, up by the door. So let's get ready. All right guys, so it's almost four o'clock in the morning. I'm leaving now. So I'm on the road, I'm still in Cherry Hill. I just left a minute ago. So I'm about to pull up into a gas station and fill up for the first time in over three years. Yes, this car hasn't moved from my home in over three years. I think the last time I parked it was May of 2017. And I'm right now I'm riding on three-year-old gas. So yeah, looking forward to the trip out there. I know it's kind of a, a little bit of a risk because I have I don't know how well this car performs now after so long of sitting in front of my house, but it's a risk that I'm willing to take. All right guys, so just a minute ago, I filled up with my car with gas, but there was a problem. There was, an, uh, there was a gas leak and it's uh, the leak is coming from the pipe going into the gas tank. So when the attendant filled it up, 
it started leaking a little bit of uh, a gas drips from from the pipe itself so I'm hoping that all the gas on the pipe has already uh, dropped out and that I don't I won't have another leak all the way up to New York so yeah it's like uh, one little problem after another I'm sure I'm going to discover more problems with this car by the time I get up to New York but like I said earlier it's a, it's a risk that I'm willing to take and uh, I'm going to, to New York today and I'll be back tomorrow yes my wife does have a car and uh, she she has a car up there and she's gonna follow me uh, tomorrow back to Jersey but I wanted to spend some time with the uh, grandchildren I haven't seen them in months and later today we're gonna go and uh, pick apples yeah pick apples in upstate New York uh, you know I'm assuming I'm gonna make it all the way up there I also know that the brakes on this car the rear brakes are pretty bad uh, they're almost gone and I've known that for a, for a few years I've been meaning to change them but I haven't uh, now that I need it uh, for this emergency I think it's okay for the time being uh, for now but as soon as I get back to Jersey I'm gonna get back to work on this car change the brakes uh, the rotors the brakes and take care of that pipe going into the gas tank because that is it's a security risk yeah but it's all my fault but you know you gotta live life a little take a risk maybe this is a little bit too much but uh, if something happens I'll be able to handle it so I'm in New York State I'm in Route 87 North I have about an hour and 40 minutes to go so I should be there by 8:30 or so it's about 6 46 right now so a couple of more things have happened in the, in the last hour first the gas needle has barely moved it's still almost at full it appears that that old three-year-old gas that did a did a job on the gas uh, gas gauge and the uh, engine light turned on and it, it has stayed on for the last hour so what else can go wrong, right? Ay caramba! And daylight. A beast. Las cosas no se ven muy bien. I can only hope I make it. If I do, I'll be happy. The only thing I don't want this car to do is to catch fire or blow up. Now this car I bought for my wife in 2003 it was a Mother's Day gift. It was a surprise and she loved it and she took good care of it for many many years from 2003 to 2017 when we got her a new uh, another uh, CRV, a Honda CRV and in 2017 uh, Mother's Day again um, we parked this car. We parked it and we haven't moved it. I mean every now and then every two or three months I do turn it on but we haven't moved it in three years so I suspect by the time all this trip is over and done there will be more I'll discover more things to uh, wrong with it so I do have a lot of work to get it up and running the way it should but right now it's serving as an emergency car
so I'm here. It's quarter after eight, and my wife hasn't seen me in two months, and she doesn't know, because I never told her, that I lost 15 pounds. You think she'll notice? So we are at a homestead here in Charlton, New York, and I'm looking at their garden. Check it out. Lots of tomatoes, squash, peppers, and a bunch of other stuff. I see kale back there. Don't know what this is, but yeah, it looks very nice. They also have chickens and a few animals here. Oh, check out the chickens. <laughs> yeah, maybe they maybe they think we have some feed for them. This is a nice coop. And uh chick Yeah, this is a nice chicken run too. Looks like they, they just built it recently. What do you mean inside here? Yeah, you can go in. Okay. Look at mama. Look at mama. Yeah. <sighs> oh, so you can get the eggs right from that thing. Yep. I know these I know I know these boxes. There's a uh I forget the name of the company, but they go for about 250 and there's a broody hen in there already. Or so uh yeah. There it is. There there she is. There's, one there's that broody hen, yeah. Just one. Leaves. And the other one too, right? The other one is for the guineas. They're very friendly. Yep. <laughs> yeah, these are friendly. Jacob, what are we doing here? Apples. We're gonna pick apples. We are going to pick apples. Look at all these apple trees. What are Daddy doing? Oh, oh look at that. So there's only two types of apples that we can pick. Macintosh and Cortland. Oh, do not pull. You hear that? There we go. Grab it and rotate it. Lift it up and rotate it. Wow, that's a lot of apples on the ground. Your shirt. You see all the white stuff all over? Wipe it. Yeah, see? Wipe it. There you go, Maria. Hold my apples. There you go. This one's a good one. Yeah, there's a lot of uh, ripe ones up there. Where? I'm gonna get your ripe one. Yeah. Here, here's a small one. Oh, here, these two are good. What do you get? A big Macintosh? Yep. All right, put it in the bag. So this bag, we have to fill it up. 25 bucks a bag. Twist it, JP. Well, water. <laughs> well, that was my first time ever picking apples. What about you, Maria? Yeah, my first time too. What about you, Jacob? You've done it before, right? <sighs> you never picked apples before? Mm -hmm. I think you have. You know how to get home? 